Hello everyone, Seth here from Cuba Productions, and today I wanted to talk to you about blocks. No, 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 no. Not those blocks. These blocks. Now to watch the whole video and get a quick overview of what blocks are, click right there somewhere, check it out, and come back in a sec. Too late. Anyways, let's get to it. What is blocks? Blocks, to start, is a new modular smartwatch in development by a group based in the UK. I was pitching blocks for my friend the other day as an experiment, and this happened. So, why don't I just get an Apple Watch, or any other smartwatch for that matter? It does the same thing, right? Well, no, not necessarily. It all started when two students met over the idea of building a new smartwatch. After some talking, it became clear that their vision of the perfect smartwatch was in fact two different devices. One with gesture control, and one with health and fitness functionality. But instead of going their own separate ways and developing their respective ideas, the pair realized that what was really needed was a smartwatch that people could truly make their own. But unlike a lot of smartwatch manufacturers that simply claim that in the spirit of the product, Blocks seeks to take it a step closer to the literal. That's right, you build your smartwatch the way you want to. How would they do that? The answer is the wristband. Every watch has one and needs one to stay on your wrist. What the Block smartwatch does is turn that otherwise useless strap into a string of modules that expand the functionality of your basic smartwatch. By adding these onto an already state-of-the-art core watch module, you have one very versatile device. So what can the modules do? Well, some of the first blocks are actually kind of simple, like an extra battery, a heart rate monitor, and the contactless payment module for like Apple Pay and stuff like that. But future blocks are already in development, like a body composition sensor that detects stress levels, and a flash storage module that allows you to store pictures and music. In fact, the hardware and software for blocks will be open to developers to create additional blocks and further the applications of the device. Potentially, blocks could be used as a health monitoring system, a business assistant, or just an everyday device that helps connect you with your friends and your world. Now, that's all well and good, but you're probably asking, what can the smartwatch do without additional modules? Is it useless? Well, the core module, as it's called, consists of hardware you would find on a typical watch, but it's pretty beefy. It has a 1.34 inch AMOLED display, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 series processor, low energy Bluetooth, a microphone, accelerometer, vibration motor, and at least a 400 milliamp hour battery in the design, which is about double what you'll find on the Apple Watch. It will also be compatible with both iOS and Android. Okay, where can I get one of these? Well, right now the smartwatch is in development, but their Kickstarter has finally launched, and you can go check it out right here. It must be expensive. For a smartwatch, it's very competitively priced. The Kickstarter package for one watch is $250 with even cheaper early bird pricing for the first backers. So what are you waiting for? Get over there and check it out. That's where I'm going right now, and I'm taking the stairs. So what are you waiting for? Go over there and check it out. That's where I'm going right now. BAM! So what are you waiting for? Get over there and check it out. That's where I'm going. Very slowly. Kind of sliding off screen. So what are you waiting for? Get over there and check it out. That's where I'm going. Hey guys, I hope you liked that video. I tried having a little bit of fun with it, so if you want to see more tech reviews and stuff alongside my gaming videos, please like and subscribe. It really helps me figure out what I'm doing well, what I'm not, what I'm really screwing up, you know. I'll eventually be coming out with a review for Blocks when I get my watch, so stay tuned. And a big thank you to my friend Nick Vega for helping me out with making this video, along with his friend Zach, who also helped me record it. And as always, I'm Seth from Cubicle Productions, and I'll see you in the next video. And I'll see you next time down the stairs backwards.